Hello, this is Monica Reinagel. Welcome to the Nutrition Diva podcast and happy new year to you. After a month of office parties, family get-togethers, comfort food, and holiday celebrations, well, it's no wonder that most New Year's resolutions have to do with a healthy lifestyle. And you know, you could get cynical about how long these resolutions typically last, but I'd rather make the most of this inclination to renew our commitment to healthy habits. And to help fuel your efforts, here are five of my best healthy eating tips, plus a bonus tip. But first, you've heard me read ads for brands like Stitch Fix and RX Bar on the podcast, all amazing companies that I truly believe in. These ads are what keep the show free, and they introduce listeners like you to new products and services that we hope you'll love. Midroll Media is the company that helps ensure that this show continues to have great advertisers. If you're interested in advertising on the Nutrition Diva podcast, you can go to midroll.com slash QDT and click contact to let the folks at Midroll know. And they also represent other great shows like Grammar Girl and Missing Richard Simmons, so you can reach an array of engaged listeners. That's midroll, M-I-D-R-O-L-L dot com slash QDT. And now here are my five best tips. Tip number one, don't wear out your willpower. Whether you've resolved to eat less junk food or maybe to get to the gym more, sticking to that resolution will probably require some willpower. But when we call on our willpower to help resist a temptation, we actually deplete our reserves, leaving us less able to resist the next temptation. Back in January, I offered three tricks for maximizing your willpower. The first and most important was to remove as many temptations from your environment as you can. If you don't want to eat it, don't bring it into the house. If you must have it in the house, put it in a cupboard or a closet that is out of sight and difficult to get to. And if after all that you decide to indulge, serve yourself a single portion into a small bowl and put the rest away. I can't overemphasize just how powerful this can be. And for more, check out that episode. It was called Why Willpower Isn't Enough. Tip number two, when you overhaul, start small. One of the biggest reasons that resolutions fail is that people set overly ambitious goals that aren't sustainable long-term. A few small changes, or even one small change that you can stick to for the entire year is going to have a much more profound impact than some radical lifestyle makeover that doesn't even last the week. Back in April, I outlined five things that can make the biggest difference in your overall nutrition. Reducing your consumption of sweetened beverages, eating more fruits and vegetables, cooking more of your own food, limiting fried foods, and cutting back on grains. Now you'll notice that I'm not asking you to eliminate anything from your diet entirely, and you could even tackle these one at a time if that's more doable. For more on that, go back and listen to the episode called How to Overhaul Your Diet. Tip number three, enjoy the glow. Part of the fun of adopting healthy habits like eating better, being more active, and getting more sleep is the, well, let's face it, the cosmetic benefits. Not only might you drop some pounds and some inches, but healthy foods can also improve your skin. In particular, healthy fats like those found in olive oil and avocado, coupled with antioxidant-rich vegetables, can improve the color and the texture of your skin. Shellfish are another delicious source of skin-improving nutrients, so eat up. And you can hear more about that in the episode entitled, What to Eat for Gorgeous Skin. I have two more tips for you, but first I want to thank this week's sponsor, Beachbody On Demand. This is an online fitness streaming service that gives you unlimited access to a wide variety of highly effective world-class workouts personalized to meet your needs. It's so convenient. You can access it from your computer, your tablet, your smartphone, or any other web-enabled device. Workouts range from cardio to weight training, yoga, low impact, and even dance. And Beachbody On Demand has programs for all fitness levels. I love it when I'm traveling because I can just dial up a yoga class or a bodyweight workout right from my hotel room. You need to give this service a try. Right now, get a free trial membership by texting DIVA to 303030, and you'll get full access to this entire platform. Just text the word DIVA to 303030. Tip number four is to indulge wisely. Part of my strategy for long-term success 
is to allow for occasional indulgences. As much as I love vegetables, I also enjoy pizza, french fries, ice cream, and yes, Swedish fish. And although I don't eat them every day or in unlimited quantities, I don't feel guilty when I do eat them. The trick is to learn how to indulge wisely and well. So last July, when National Junk Food Day rolled around, like we need that, I put together five rules for splurging, the most important of which is to save your splurges for foods that you truly enjoy and not to succumb to junk foods that aren't even particularly appealing just because they happen to be sitting in front of you. Of course, learning to indulge in moderation is also important, and you can learn more in that episode. It was called Nutrition Diva's Guide to National Junk Food Day. Tip number five was what to eat instead of grains. Now, cutting back on grains has gotten to be sort of a recurring theme on the Nutrition Diva show. But I want to be clear. Unlike some people, I don't believe that grains are the source of all dietary evil. But I do think that we tend to overconsume them and that even whole grains are best eaten in limited quantities. So in September, I tried to make that advice a little bit more actionable by offering some tips on what to eat instead of grains. After all, it's much more fun and effective to focus on the foods you want to eat more of rather than obsessing about those you're trying to cut back on. So what do we eat instead of grains? Well, vegetables are on that list, of course, but when you cut back on grains, it also leaves a lot more room in your diet for nuts, avocado, cheese, and other tasty and satisfying foods. And you can find out more in the episode called What to Eat Instead of Grains. And now here's my bonus tip for you. 10 easy upgrades. Back in October, I offered a roundup of ways to painlessly upgrade your nutrition. Everything from the most nutritious types of lettuce to choose to the healthiest cocktail you can order. You'll find all of those in the episode entitled 10 Easy Ways to Upgrade Your Nutrition. But then after that episode aired, Nutrition Diva listeners responded with a bumper crop of dozens more terrific suggestions, including recipes for green pancakes, low-carb rice made from cauliflower, and my favorite, veggie ice cream. So if you're looking for some fun ways to upgrade your nutrition, or just to mix it up a little bit in the new year, be sure to check out all the great ideas I got from listeners, and feel free to add your own. I included a link to that in today's show notes, which are at nutritiondiva.quickanddirtytips.com. If losing weight is one of your New Year's resolutions, again, let's make this the last year that you need to make that resolution. Go to www.weightless.me, that's weightless.me, to learn about the approach that's helping hundreds finally achieve permanent weight loss. You'll spend an entire year working directly with me and with Brock Armstrong of the Get Fit Guy podcast. And by next year, you're going to need a new resolution. But don't wait. We start on January 5th. And a happy new year from all of us at Quick and Dirty Tips. Let's make 2018 our healthiest year yet. 